Hey, Dale here with Open Road Outfitters. When you buy a motorcycle camper with electric brakes, you need to install a brake controller on the bike. How do you do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to install a controller on a Harley Ultra, and I'll walk you through the process. The brake controller has five wires. One tells the controller you're braking. Two wires go to the brakes. Two go to the battery. This is the same type of controller you'd use on a car or truck, so it's not weatherproof, and that means you'll need to install it in a dry spot like trunk or tour pack or saddlebags. You'll need to run five wires into the trunk, and if you can run them through an existing opening, that's your best option, of course. Be sure to give yourself plenty of wire length to work with on both sides. Unless you have a cabinet full of wire, and you can be choosy about your colors, you're probably going to be connecting wires of different colors in your installation. So I'd recommend that you put together a little diagram to keep them straight. Something like this one. These are the wire colors on the controller, and these are the wire colors I'm going to be using in my harness. So to install this, first I'm going to choose two wires to use as the power supply to the controller. I used the white as the ground, and the brown is the hot lead. The hot lead is the one that connects to the battery's positive terminal. Be sure to install an inline fuse on this wire, and for the fuse value, check out the instructions that come with the controller. When you've done that, connect these leads to the battery. Next, I'm installing the brake trigger for the controller, and I've designated the blue wire for this job. I'm connecting this to the brake light circuit that's on the trailer wiring kit that I've already installed. I cut off some of the excess length and then I used a scotch lock to make the connection. Now let's go to the trunk and wire in the controller. And I have five wires to connect to four points on the controller. So let's look back at the diagram. The blue wire in my bundle goes to the trigger wire on the controller, which is red. Two wires from my bundle are ground wires. The white one, that's the one that I ran to the battery negative. The green will be the ground wire that goes to the brakes. The brown wire, if you remember, that went to the positive battery terminal, and that connects to the black wire on the controller. The yellow wire will connect to the blue output wire on the controller and that yellow wire will go to the trailer brakes. So while I'm doing that, let me suggest that you might want to add a quick disconnect to this wiring harness on the outside of the trunk. And that will allow you to disconnect the wiring harness if you need to take the trunk off. Finally, I'll add the two pin plug to the yellow and green wires coming off the brake controller. Since I also have the trailer light wiring going to the back, I'm going to wrap everything together so it's in one bundle. And I'll trim the wires so that the two plugs are about equal. Last, I'll do a quick test just to make sure everything's working. And to do that, I've attached a test light to the two pin plug. When I put that test light on the plug, the status light on the brake controller will turn green. And when I activate the manual brake slider button on the controller, you'll see the test light light up. I, I'm sorry the video here, it sucks a little bit, but I think you'll get the idea. In a separate video, I'll show you how to adjust the brakes on the camper and the controller. If you'd like more information about motorcycle camping or campers, hitches or wiring, check out my other YouTube videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to visit me at openroadoutfitters.com. Until next time, this is Dale with Open Road Outfitters, wishing you many happy journeys.